Hey, this is a not Scarlet Spider. I know the hoodie looks banished, but believe me, it's it's not there yet. Yet. Anyway, uh, Retro here doing a uh, trailer react, but with some uh, channel news before uh, I get to this now. I can't believe I'm saying this. Third take over some minor news I wanted to talk about. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we watched a movie. I've covered this all three parts, and I'm going to keep this the shortest as possible. And sadly, it sucks making it the shortest. Um, one half of them, um, of Matt and Jay, uh, Jay's mom passed away the other week. And for that, I want to do this out of the way. Fuck answer. Getting to the point, um, it's a very private thing for him. And he'll come back doing regular uh, channel stuff uh, later down the road. Uh, probably late this month after the funeral, I assume. That's what Matt has probably said in the updates. Again, go to the channel. I've said this all three takes, but I'll reiterate. Uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description for their channel because I think it's really damn good content. And they're big horror fans. Like, they've been up to speed with every little update that hasn't been said about the upcoming uh, Halloween Kills. Uh, shameless plug to the trailer because, again, I think the movie's really good. I think it's got a good strong legs after the 2018 reboot, so hopefully, you know, things happen there. Uh, that also also said, speaking of the soon-to-be trailer react for Carnage, uh, sorry, Venom Let There Be Carnage, uh, I got some things to say after the trailer react, I'm gonna be honest, you'll probably feel in the react when we get to that. Uh, so, also, speaking of Venoms, in this case, uh, Cinematic Ven Venom apparently had a 24-hour notice of getting rid of all of his content. Uh, I contacted one of his, uh, contributors, and, uh, long story short, uh, again, speaking of Halloween, they did a crossover with, uh, I think, the Crystal Michael Myers, the sixth movie of the franchise, uh, hopefully Car there as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, basically he said, uh, he doesn't know, and honestly, if he wants to leave, let him leave on his own terms. Uh, I'll look into it, uh, off, hopefully, screen when this whole thing is done. Um, also, uh, out of respect for Rob, the guy that plays him, uh, I'm gonna leave the, hopefully, a active, uh, I hope this, uh, UK GoFundMe, whatever it was, for his, uh, stepsister, sorry, his sister-in-law, who recently passed away, also due to cancer, so again, whole thing there, um, so yeah, uh, all that aside, I don't know much about the guy's channel, and I'm gonna keep this as brief as possible, because, again, the update just happened as of, uh, before going to work earlier today, so that's how it was, so, yeah, again, I'm gonna leave that all there, I'll probably ha try to be, make a semi-detailed description of what was going on, other than that, uh, let's get to this trailer react. Uh, if those who saw the first time around when I was Ben, car two, final cars, because I need the last one here for the trailer starting right now. And they're still doing trailer previews. Great. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Uh, hi, Tops. Are you right about something here? Oh no, are they having their- are they teasing a separation anxiety? This is not having separation anxiety, Avi. Okay, Raven cough, okay. Naomi Harris is Siren, if I got that character name right. Uh, I, I'll leave the duty as usual. Alright, I mean, the slapstick's still gonna work, even though they're, I guess, having the symbiotic equivalent of marital problems. It's kind of fitting, knowing that it's Brock. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, Cletus, you're never gonna get the making a murderer doc, okay? It's just, it's not happening. Whoa, you just trying to, oh, ew, he's a bitey. He's a bitey biter. What was that with the teeth? What are you, you okay there, bud? Oh, that stupid hyper zoom they did in the first movie. What's with the church gimmick you got going on? What the hell? Okay. Whoa, dude, he's jacked in the CG. And freaking huge. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, God. What is that? Vor? Is that a Vor? Is that how you hentai? Uh, semi okay explosion. Uh, semi okay CG. Okay, I don't even know what the fuck that is. Uh, what the fuck is going on here? You're telling me! Wait, did Venom just bitch up? Okay, okay, I was about to say, if you just bitched up there all out of nowhere, you ain't getting this voice with us. Whatever the hell you guys call yourselves, seriously. They hate them pronouns, honestly. No Mrs. Chen in this trailer, I just realized. What the hell? 
Oh, okay, is this a tongue off? I'm not doing that for TOS purposes and this being YouTube. Dude, you do not need a love triangle. Pete's been down that road. It's, it doesn't really end well, you know. All right. Uh, I think uh, uh, still this fall. Uh, what I looked online is that I think it's coming out hopefully uh late uh next month. I think the twenty first of September. Again, apparent dates are still changing for that. I hope not at this point. Now that every other movie's coming out, thanks to a year of delays. Anyway. So yeah, uh, let's get to the high tops part of the whole thing. Um, I think in his uh, early uh, semi-review slash video essay of the first movie, he actually made a joke script of them basically having a separation kind of problem. Like, like they're, again, couples arguing and stuff like that. Uh, his subplot, not mine. Uh, I'll go, go to the video. If there's time in the cards, go to the video or his channel down below for him to explain the whole situation. And I think word for word, he might have called it when it comes to the sequel. Um, if anything, at this point... If there's still a trailer before, I guess a final trailer before uh, this comes out later next month. Uh, if they start name dropping Spider Man out of nowhere, don't be surprised that he's probably right about most of it. Again, it was probably writing exercise, not like a oh, I actually would love to co write or ghost write a couple of scenes uh, for the new movie. Anyway, uh, the drip on uh, Woody uh, throughout the whole thing when he uh, gets out later on in the plot, I assume is very Caster Troy-esque. Uh, the uh, face-off vibes off of him, it is astoundingly weird, but not bad. Like I said for Naomi Harris's character, uh, she's Siren, again, if I got the name right. Uh, in the comics, he's always been Cletus's uh, girlfriend since the 90s. Sometimes comes back, sometimes not. Didn't show up in uh, Absolute Carnage that came out last summer. Uh, either last summer or 2018. Uh, if I, I forgot when that event happened. Best guess, 2019. Also, just saying, if Donny Cates needs to do a sequel to any of uh, the Venom stuff that's happened all, throughout that tenure, his tenure is done, by the way. Uh, it looks really good. I think his uh, Venom's son in the comics is now a Spawnified version of Kane because he grew up with Spawn comics and just said, I don't know, change the cooler, whatever. I'll, I'll probably do it in character as uh, Ben and everybody else uh, for Spider News down the road. That all being said, uh, the trailer's fine, um, lacking a lot of stuff that was, you know, a little snappier on the first trailer, um, other than that, um, more action sequences, you get to see a more, uh, the, all the CG out of it, uh, I think Trench, uh, in, in the Discord, uh, for his group, uh, showed off most of the photography, uh, from all the promotional stills that are happening right now, I guess, for this movie's marketing, um, a full suit and all that, I guess, as reference for the, for the CG guys. Other than that, um, it's a good trailer. It's getting the point across. It's gonna be a semi laugh ride that everyone kind of thought the first movie was, and probably this as well. And now it's amped up with semi seriousness because again, it's you know him versus Carnage is gonna have to be like that. I mentioned most of the separation anxiety and the reaction was because I think Avi wants to do that part of the story while having Carnage crowbarred in there, even though. You can restrain yourself just a little bit. Then again, you you showed Woody in in the post credit and stuff. I don't know. I guess you could have if you weren't going to pull the the, the carnage trigger on this one, you could have just have him be like his pseudo uh, Hannibal Lecter style therapist if uh, he needs to talk it out more. I guess build that inevitable transformation better. But since it's obvious he wants to speed run most of Venom's stories, uh. I don't really know. Um, normally, when it comes to separation anxiety, there were more uh, symbiotes other than the Carnage that came out of it, all of whom, other than I guess uh, Scream, that I could barely remember. Uh, I'll leave the wiki for that if you guys want to see the the, the crux of that story. Um, ultimately, uh, I hope the movie performs better. Keep in mind, it performed better in China because apparently they had like a better like cultural uh, resonance with it or whatever the excuse was back in twenty eighteen. Then again, we're talking like almost four years later. And or four, three or four years later, and a vi vi wildly different um movie going experience since you know a pandemic and everything. That all being said, again, probably take a drink every time I said that. Um, it could work. Hopefully, still at this move at the in this case for this movie, and let, let alone at this point. Again, stumbling my words aside, this is where we finally get to the end of cards. Uh, to my previous video here discussing uh, what did I discuss? Now I think about it. Oh yeah, it was a short for Spider-Man Day, so short playlist here. Uh, hoodie here to sub to the channel. Uh, hit the notification bell down below for more future content of 
most of the back half of the news I mentioned, I'm mainly going to focus on the We Watch a Movie side of things. Oh, I forgot to plug uh, their coffee ad uh, for their own uh, brand of coffee. I'll probably leave the video down there as well in the description because it's actually a really cool thing. And I wanted to say to Mike and Jay, I usually sometimes use a video to get me up in the morning. I'm not even kidding. Uh, so yeah, since we're still here for end cards, previous video here, which is also me doing a not so long enough, but almost uh, the same amount of takes uh, review for uh, Masters of the Universe Revelation Part 1. I still think that there is going to be more, uh, I think, but well, the back half of that season is either come out this uh, winter, fall, or 2022, and then, then yeah, then it's an actual, it will be an actual season 2 if it comes out in 2022 at this point. Uh, that all being said, uh, last update... I'm going to be on vacation soon. Um, I'll try to do one more video uh, with either uh, my long Halloween review as Jason or uh, my inevitable The Suicide Squad James Gunn review again as Jason. You'll know later down the road probably with um, shorts or whatever. Repeating most of my key phrases and catchphrases aside, uh, I'm Richard Kidd, Richard Reviews. Hope to God you saw something out of this re uh, react with uh, Venom Luther B. Connage. And, um... Yeah, your caster short's kind of showing there, Woody. You you okay there, bud?